that seems like it's working. Hello, hello, hello. It's me, your favorite sleepy little Pokemon fan game streamer. Today, there's been a new event announced on Relic Castle that I'm very keen to get in on. And so we will be trying to do that. So this right here is the 12 days of Mapmas, obviously a reference to the 12 days of Christmas. Um, a speed mapping event. So welcome to a brand new Relic Castle event. This is created by Adele's brother, so big credit to him. He's the one who kind of like organized the whole thing. Um, but essentially, what the gist of it is, is that every 24 hours for 12 days, I guess, a new uh, map prompt will be posted uh, alongside a suggested tile set that's only a light suggestion. Um, and the idea is to just quickly churn out a map make something cool with it, and just experiment with some map ideas that you haven't before, push yourself a little bit, and I thought it'd be pretty fun to get involved. Um, so get into the more nitty gritty of it, essentially how it will work is here, for example, day one, yesterday at 4pm, for me it is currently 11am, so I've got about four more hours. <laughs> um, your challenge is to create a cabin in the woods or a park in the city. Now, each day it seems like they're going to give two prompts just so that there's a bit of flexibility if you read one and you're like, oh, I really don't want to make a park in the city. So I'd rather have one more option more than they post two options. Oh, you can see you have 24 hours to post your map. Um, oh, something worth noting that I brushed over is you can request feedback and there's no judges, there's no winning for this thing, like it's not a contest as they say. Um, but other fellow mappers may feel inclined to give some feedback and suggestions if you request it. As you can see in this template, looking for feedback, you can write yes, you can write no. I did see it, we can talk about that in a bit, Andy. Um, in fact, there's actually something funny I want to talk about that. Um, but as you can see here, the first few days, and we're going to get into that, so it is either cabin boards or park in the city, and there's a suggested tile set for each. I already downloaded both of them, but as you can see, both of them have credits. Both involve people like Ecat and Harlow's Dragon and Vutax for the rips. Um, and they're both very good tile sets. And I think I've seen lots of people who are just using their own tile sets. I'm going to try to use these ones because I'm way too lazy to try to actually <laughs> find my own tile sets, especially if I'm going to be doing this every single day. I don't really want to use time getting tile sets. Um, I think we'll look over what everyone's done at the end, but about what Andy just said, uh, if you're itching for a game jam prop art, you should check out this video. From the description will be cancellation of the Relic Castle Winter Game Jam, as well as an opportunity. Yeah, um, so essentially they're talking about the description of that video. They're just asking, did the Winter Game Jam actually get cancelled? Yeah, it, it's not that it got cancelled, it just never got announced, and it's not going to be announced. <laughs> um, at least that's how I've understood it from the staff of Relic Castle. And so I won't click on that because it's YouTube and I don't know what my suggested videos are going to be, but you can check that out if you wish. Um, Andy, along with a whole bunch of other people, not Andy as in Cat with no job, but Andy as in Wolf Taco, have announced a new jam, so that'll be very fun. That's a couple months down the line, so we've got a little bit to rest before then. But yeah, um, with all that said, let me quickly change to this. Please tell me this worked. I swear to God, one day I'm going to need to get a second monitor, but for now I'm streaming on my laptop, <laughs> and doing this shit is a pain, but I have to just check my mobile phone check the stream from my mobile phone and make sure it's working. Okay, that seems fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so as you can see, fresh new essentials, although maybe not too fresh. I don't know when I downloaded this, but I downloaded it at some point. <laughs> oh, thank you, Endless Mapping indeed. We are going to have a go at the mapping event. So I did take a look at what some of other people have done, and there is a lot of cabin in the woods out of the two. So you can either do park in the city or cabin in the woods. And initially I was much more inclined to do cabin in the woods. I think it it just sounds a lot more interesting to me. Um and but so many people have done cabin in the woods and I think I'm still gonna do it. But if we have time I would like to try my hand at 
bloody park in the city as well. I don't know if we will have time, but yeah, well, you, you focus on your ballet stuff, Andy. That is probably a lot more <laughs> important. So we're going to start off with Cabin in the Woods. Since this is um, completely new, I do not have a tile set yet. So max size is 60 by 60. So we're just going to mess around 60 by 60. And if um, and if I need to make it smaller, we can just reduce it. Just this way we don't need to make it bigger. It has also been a long time since I've messed around on essentials, so I may be rusty. And I guess I should put a disclaimer, you know, I'm not a, <laughs> a master. Please tell me if this is the right size. It, it's not. Okay. Du, 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 du. I'm not a master mapper by any means. Um, but I'm just going to have some fun and whatnot, especially since this is under time constraints. So don't look at me if you're expecting to learn how to map like a master. Look at me if you just want to see what this cool little event is about. Did that work? I feel like that doesn't always work. Did not. Okay, let me... Du, 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 du. I don't want to open up File Explorer on stream. Yeah, good idea, I didn't. I just need to make everything two times, which is slightly annoying. But there's a way you can do it inside Pokemon Essentials, which means there's no chance of me opening it up in um some other program and resaving it and accidentally like compressing the pixels incorrectly. Okay. Hopefully this works now. Import. Let's go back. times. Did that one work? It did not. What? Is that not? I swear that used to work. <laughs> Do I need to click export? Is that, like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this. No, that's not it. Anyway, um, I'll do this in a different program quickly. As much as I don't like to. Let's just quickly. Oh, look at that. That's not. Da, 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 da. But yeah, I don't really have any proper ideas yet. Um, so this will be interesting. We're very much going to be going with the flow here. But I think in the end it will be all right. Where is the tile set? Drick City, hello. Haunted Forest. Where are you? Or did I just control X out of it? Okay. Let's start with this one. Um. That should be better. Let's do this quickly. I probably should have done this beforehand, but <laughs> it is what it is. I thought that would be the right size. I thought wrong. Why am I so shit at this? <laughs> oh. Okay, image size, 200, control this, save. Okay. Now I should be back and mapping, hopefully. Hello, Mashi, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Um, is this now the right size? It is. Okay, and the fun thing about doing mapping events, I always love this, is that, um, since we're just messing around 
and making maps. It doesn't need to be playable. I don't need to do all this annoying passability shit. This is transparent, right? It is. Cool. Okay, we're ready to go. Um, Why do I have my that turned off? And that. Okay. Uh, this isn't really going to be relevant since this map doesn't need to be playable, but I'd just like to use this grid. A suggestion from the King Armor himself, because it allows you to see what will be out of view of a player. So if they're playing here, they will only see until there, and so on upwards and downwards as well. Um, I think let us just start with... I'm a bit worried about how all these tiles are meant to work together. <laughs> Let us just start with the actual cabin itself. So I wanted it to be quite a big, glamorous house in the middle of some dark woods, I think. I really like these, like, stone pavement tiles. So just going to plonk that down for now. That can be on first layer. And we'll work around it. Now, what I figured out, I have some fun with, is trying to figure out how these tiles can fit together to make a big, cool house. Because obviously there's a lot of Lego pieces here. <laughs> But your little bro here doesn't really know how to play with Lego. So this will be interesting. I'm also wondering... Okay, so I think this is for ground and maybe I can place this on top. Oh boy. Let's see. So let's say we just have a big... That's too big, isn't it? And let's zoom in a little bit, because that's too small for that. So that's what we want the door to... Oh, we're not going to see a door. There's no... This is a door. I'm done. Yeah, so we want it to actually be odd numbered. So let's take that back one. Okay, and let's see if we can do something here. Like, we've got a little balcony here. How does this fit on? That doesn't make much sense, does it? <laughs> um, oh, I think I can get it. That's not it. Not like that. Not like that. I guess I should be starting with something like this instead. Again, I haven't really used these tiles, so I am a bit confused about how they work. But, 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 but. Um. Yeah, okay, I like that. Oh god, this is gonna look horrible, I can already see it. I guess if I want parts to be tall, I can do that. Don't really get... Okay, so I'm not doing this, but I guess the house can look something like that. Maybe should we start with Brick City? I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. I, I... Hmm. Just don't really get how some of these pieces fit together. I know they do, because I've seen Ecat use them. <laughs> but my dumb ass. Okay. Let's, um... Did I really do that? Let's just try Trick City quickly. Just see if we feel anything immediately stronger with that. Maybe part of me really should have planned this out, but I thought it'd be more fun this way, but maybe now it's just a bit more stressful. <laughs> okay. 
So park inside a city. So let's start with the park, I guess. Something I love about Ecat is her water tiles. I would very much like to make use of that. So I think maybe if we have like a, do we have anything bridge like we can work with? Let's bring this back down. We can make something work. I, I'm not sure if there's anything too bridgey. But I would ideally like almost like a small moat. We don't even need to do a bridge, it can just be a path. Okay. So let's zoom out a bit. We're gonna put down our vague circle of water first. And this will mark... I should be counting a little bit. <laughs> um, it can be a big park. We've got a big map. We can really go for it. Du, 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 du. Something like that. And we can have maybe the water go off into the distance somewhere as well. But let's start by just doing this water here. And seeing if I remember how to do water. Like that. Woohoo. Um, and then, hmm. I feel like if I do this, it's going to be too tight. We're just going to have water in the middle of the park. We're not going to have any grass. So. We shall do this instead. Make sure to do your corners. I feel like the corners of water rocks like this is one of the most common tile areas you'll see. Most of the time it's not even tile area, it's just that the tile does not exist and it looks a bit awkward. Um, like here, that's not... Yeah, this is what I mean. <laughs> um, it looks awkward in my opinion though. I guess in some ways maybe it's correct. It does feel like there should be a rock here. I don't think there's any way. Well, I guess it's awkward if you put a rock there because then we have to put the rock there and that looks even more awkward. I don't know, there's no good way around it. It is what it is. Okay, and then we can take our grass and plop it right down in the center. Is this even gonna be big enough for a park? <laughs> Um, something I can do to avoid the awkward thing here that I don't like is make our pathway take place here. And I think in that case it will look a little bit more natural. And also we can change this to pavement or something if um if we so desire. Does this still look alright? I mean, we can go full on with the park. We can make this even bigger because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is not really <laughs> a big park right here. Um, let's just see, like, what, what kind of decoration can we put in the park? We can have some nice bushes. I think a nice tree at the center of it over the water would uh, go well. And maybe like a little bench in front of it. Do we have benches? I did see a bench down here actually. Um, I meant some other park stuff. Just like some flowers here and there. So we could, hmm, <laughs> I'm just thinking another thing we could even try to do is try to make a, a shape out of the water if you want to be really creative. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking maybe a Pokeball, but I, I don't know how well that would go. Um... Let me just think quickly what a 
the pokeball shape would look like. You have to have like a middle bit here, water going off the sides, and then it will come down and around. We could try that. Okay, let's grab this and put it in the corner because I don't hate it, but it doesn't really fit the shape that we're looking for at the moment. If we put it in the corner, we can always come back to it. <laughs> and now we can try to redo it the Pokeball shape. So I guess like a, a three by three circle of grass in the center. Is that too small? I don't think this grass will be accessible. I think it will just be there. Then two side bits. Uh, Doobie ball, and hopefully, <laughs> is that even? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that too long? Okay, now it's even. Fucking optical illusions because I did off center, it doesn't look even, but apparently, it is. Is free too wide? I don't know. And then we go down a little bit. Down a bit more. Guess I gotta think of like what the grass space would be like as well, because I want there to actually be a grass space. There's no way that's even, I've, well, no, because it still needs to, okay. That makes more sense. Like that, and then we just do the same up there. This also is still not even. Um, Tom, count properly. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's just paste these squares here. Yeah. Okay. And hopefully this doesn't end up turning out looking like shit. <laughs> There's a high chance it will. Yeah, but that's okay, it's just twelve days of madness. Can't be too perfectionist. Could you even uh, I don't know, like make this skinnier. But like how it would have to be like one type. And that just looks kind of awkward, unless we like expand this out. Try one more tile. <laughs> oh, you get to watch me deliberate over every single thing and hate it. No, I think that's bad. That's not great either. <laughs> oh god, okay. But I think we'll stick with that. To make it one more wide on each side would be too much. I think. 
So let's get the water edges going. Um, God, are there tiles to do the skinny stuff? It's not. Oh, oh well, these were these were meant to be free wide. I just edited those. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Doing wood is like doing cables, and it is pretty tedious. But you just do your best. Um, there. Corners. That's a corner, right? Yeah. That'll be a corner. That'll be a corner. So there are going to be more corners that I miss, but we, we get them on the second run. What do you think about that? What goes here? Not this. Ooh, this might end up being a bit too tight. Oh, hook me. We just have to let the towel <laughs> edit a slide. Um. Or do we make the Pokeball one taller? It's already a pretty tall looking Pokeball. Because we have to do that, but at the same time, do that. And we all know that's not working. Okay, so one taller it becomes, I guess. Hopefully this doesn't turn out like other shit. Just gonna make sure everything gets fixed up properly. God, I do think this is going to end up looking awkward as fuck. It's okay. It's it's a concept piece more than a literal beauty piece. It's meant to look awkward, to resemble the dystopian nature of this city, where a green park hides trying to camouflage the smog that surrounds it, when it is nothing more than a false illusion to try to keep the residents happy. Mwahaha. It's meant to make you feel disgusted when you look at it, because that's how you should feel modern society. Of course, of course. Da -da -da. Okay, yeah. And how's that top half look? Does that look completely disgusting? It doesn't look completely disgusting. I'd, I'd give it a like. A like on Twitter. <laughs> oh, sorry, not Twitter. X. Bullshit. Um, the tiles aren't going to hate me here, are they? That'd be problematic. Sorry, I did the wrong...
Mm. <laughs> Why does this look like it's going to be extremely tight? But I think there is actually enough room. Barely. It's going to look very awkward for it as well. Ooh, okay. Um... Next, okay. And then, yeah, we need to extend this a bit. That's all right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So how do we extend it? So this now becomes like too tall. And boom, okay, I think Pokeball painted. Happy Mathmas, happy Mathmas, Kenny. So I guess the other thing we need to think about is how we want to actually have this connect with the city. Um, so this will be our park. And I just want to see, can we fit a nice... I also do see that I did this on layer 2, which is completely idiotic, but that's okay. Can I fit a nice tree... On the centi. Oh, it's not three. Oh, here we go. This one's three tiles wide. Yeah, let's do this. And we can just put a, a bush in front of it for good measure. And this is why I should have done it on tile one. <laughs> on layer one. Oh, God. Okay. We'll just do that and then most messy little solution you've ever seen but that's okay yeah i mean that doesn't look half bad for a nice little center um how do i want the park to connect to shit <laughs> let's take a step back I'm doing the um, park in the city. So I'm working on the park, and then I'm going to work on the city. I tried to do Cabin in the Woods, and then I gave up very quickly. <laughs> I, I was not, I don't know. I was struggling, and I couldn't really, yeah. I like these a lot. This looks very cool. Could have like okay, you know I'm cooking up. I've, I've got something in mind right here. Let's go to layer one because that's where we should have been all along. But just a little bit of layer two ness. Do you think this still looks like a pokey pokeball if I do it like that? <laughs> I don't have like a different color bridge I can do, do I? to connect those two parts. Do you think I can convince someone that's a little bridge <laughs> if I never use that bench anywhere else in the map? Uh... 
Or maybe no. I was like, or oh, another alternative would be if I know Ecat has some lily pad tiles. I could like put big lily pads there and just suggest it's walkable. What about place lily pads? Surprisingly, that doesn't look completely atrocious. But it looks pretty bad. <laughs> um, oh, what about glass bridge? No, it's not really going to work. <laughs> There's no tiles I can put in between. It's awkward. Um, what's probably going to happen is I'll use, like, pavement tiles instead. Just so that these connectors don't blend in with the rest of the Pokeball completely. I think that somewhat maintains the Pokeball image. So I'll go with that. Now I need to fix my water. Du -du -du -du. Ta da, that's not too bad. Okay. I mean, we can actually do this on layer two, but what I'd kind of like is to really take advantage of these super nice tiles and put a little fence around the whole No, no, I should do this on layer two. Hmm, that really fucked things up. <laughs> okay, layer three. You get you get a ball here. You get ball here. Like that. These tiles are indistinguishable, aren't they? I believe so. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. Not bad. There's going to be a tile area somewhere here. I can smell it with my little dog ass nose. Oh, these, these also look indistinguishable. Thank you, Ken not Kenny, Matthew. Hello. I think more than my mouth needing water right now, my eyes are probably going to need some water with how, like how closely I'm looking at this shit. <laughs> Can't be good. Now that looks probably not the nicest. How was Clash last night? Well, I guess I should um put a little disclaimer that I do not play League often, and I am when I do play League, I'm very, very bad at it. Um, and we were supposed to have a fifth member. And despite him being the one who was like super what you might call it. Like, he, he was being really sure, like, oh, everyone's going to be here on time, right? You guys aren't going to ditch. He was the one who ended up not turning off the whole night. I don't know what happened. I imagine something must have come up. Because in the end, he didn't even text saying why he couldn't come. But that meant we ended up queuing with a, a rando. And I don't think the rando was too happy with us. <laughs> 
because um, we lost all our games. And I did not help much, being me, who does not play League or know much about League. Okay. Fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was kind of fun. Like, I don't mind playing ARAM even though I suck at it, because it is just kind of fun. And while maybe Clash is not the situation for it, it's a good chance for me to learn about what all the champs do because you just cycle through them you see all the champs who are you get to get a quick rundown about their abilities and whatnot what was i cooking when i put that ball there <laughs> um i never fixed fix the water here after this i don't think we'll have to do any more water so that will be pleasant Oh, oh, really? That's going to look so bad. Here we go, okay. So now I believe we start the transition to pavement. Yeah, so that's Clash. So we lost all our matches. I came up against two teams with um, names that were like abbreviations for slurs <laughs> and not subtle at all. I was like, wow, League is not beating the toxic allegations. 2-1, probably could have gone... Damn, holy shit. So you got to the final match then, right? Unless, I guess unless you lost early on. But that's nearly a, a win. Now the hard part is for me to figure out what I'm going to cook here with the rest of the city. So I think we're doing pavement almost and utterly completely. Can I get away with this so that I don't need to do like one million edges? What does that look like? I think it will look fine. We just need to put grass under here. Oh, they are distinguishable. They have different... No, they don't. Yeah, I get that. Arams is fun. And, like, Arams is pretty much the only league I've played. <laughs> Just because it is like, I don't know, it feels a lot more chill, a lot more shits and giggles. Especially since I'm so bloody new or shit at League or whatever. It's pretty nice. What do you want me to do, game? I guess it's these ones here. Yeah, yeah. Essentially like deathmatch in Val or team deathmatch or whatever. Is that enough to work? If I put it here, it won't look weird, will it? No. And it does kind of mean that, like, um, if I ever do want to actually try to play normals, I can be like, well, I know who I enjoyed playing ARAM, and I now know a little bit about some of the champs. Not all 150 or whatever. <laughs> so it makes it a bit more... a bit less of a big dive in... Okay, that's how park, that's how city. I don't really like how this pillar just blends in with the wall here. I'm wondering if there's something I can do there. Maybe I do need to do the grassy edges as much as I hate it. Probably would look nicer.
Yeah, I think it does definitely look nicer. Oh, okay. But if I do down here, does it look awkward or? I think it still looks fine. I forgot how long mapping can really take. What, what, what's going on there? <laughs> what's going on in that corner? Um, it's, it's just a corner. I'm dumb. <laughs> Why? Why is it suddenly dark green? Ah, uh, okay. No, that's... Not fine. What? <laughs> A team mapper mapmas would be interesting. <laughs> I've really fucked this up, really, but okay. I do kind of prefer the other. I do kind of prefer this look for some reason. The like uneven and the not the dark green, but there's no corner for that. Unless I'm dumb. <laughs> That's annoying. That's gonna look weird. How weird does it look? It looks a little bit weird. Okay, we'll just do the dark green then. Oh my god. It's high up. I think maybe like an ECAT tile for it does exist. Because I've got these, but these line up slightly differently than it's it's so hard to see than this. It might exist just not in this tile set. Just because these edges are straight and have like a dark green on them. While these are like slightly crooked. I'll just stick with the dark green ones for now. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's zoom out and try to do this more efficiently. Okay. I'll show you it. So I am... I'm wanting to use these for the edges in contrast to these. 
just because I thought these look nice and are uneven, while these are completely even. These ones with, that are completely straight have everything you need to use them. They've got these like reverse corners, they've got the full corners, but these only exist with the reverse corners. They don't have a full corner. And if you use these full corners to try to line up with them, it looks slightly awkward because of the difference in the greens. Unless I'm blind and completely missing something. <laughs> so the right hand side one is the one I want to use. But the left hand side one is a complete one as far as I can tell. I think it's just a either I don't know it's tiny oversight or I think this doesn't have like all the ecat tiles because it's a somewhat compressed one. At the end of the day, you got to remember these tiles are made by real people. They're not going to be made to suit your very specific needs. <laughs> At least once I get all these annoying edges down, having to do all the edges for water, having to do all the edges for this shit, I should just be able to sit down and do some more simple city mapping where I don't need to worry about making sure the tiles line up perfectly. I'm off to see the um the new Godzilla movie today, Godzilla Minus One. Which should be interesting. I'm not too like overly excited. I'm not a big monster movie buff or anything. But I hear it's a good movie. So it should be a good time. Well that wasn't too arduous, was it Tom? Come on now. Maybe we should complain less. That's all good. It looks a little bit weird. Um, but we will take that, I think. It's not completely horrible. Um, okay. Let's zoom out and think about what we actually want to do with a city now. I did see there's a cool building here that I kind of want to use. Oh, we need a, a sign of a wall to say, hey, this is a park. So let's do that. Oh, forgot I had my bucket tool on. <laughs> That's a classic. Like that. I could try to sell it as a little plaque. I don't think it's completely unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay. I think we keep this pathway as a square because we don't want to make it zigzag too much and I'm somewhat done with doing one million edges and 
Mm. God. I guess the problem with putting a Pokeball at the center of your town is that it's an obnoxious shape. <laughs> um, and we're kind of fucked by the fact that we have these long verticals because you can't place buildings on long verticals going along the side. They need to be going horizontally. I guess we could have streets here, like street here, street here, street here. We'll see. Okay. What well, what's a basic ass house gonna look like in this tile set? Oh my god, <laughs> these houses are fucking puzzles, man. I'm too dumb to put these together. Okay, so I think these are our our building pieces right here, our most basic ass house that we can get. Oh. And we can like extend that a bit, add a wall. What is like a fancy ass door? Oh my god, I need to take things down a layer. Tom, learn for once. Uh, If it isn't the consequences of my actions, making me pay for putting everything on layer two when it should be on layer one. It's annoying. Okay. And then it does just, just attach to the front. Like so, use my map map masher. Oh, Monko, if only that's a true hidden ability that I had. If only. I mean, what these signs are supposed to go on like the side. Fuck houses, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And also, the consequences for making this a uh even number house. I just want to see what this could look like. Not too special. Um, but yeah, these signs are definitely meant to go on the side. Like that? If I bring it down a tile, it will look a bit better, I think. So all of this was for what? <laughs> Nothing? This is so messy, what have I fucking done? Okay, but it nearly looks like a house. I'm missing a ball. My doctor, when I take my testicle x-ray, I'm missing a ball. Anyway.
No, no, this doesn't need to be a Pokemon Center. <laughs> this can just be a house. But what do I think about the... The different types of doors here. I think I like that door more. Oh, this is going to be so shitty. I'm not proud of this map at all. Oh my god. Okay, let me just try to do this better. For real, there's gonna be a sixth one and it's called Shrine. Okay, I've got you on my clipboard now, fucker. So what happens if I just... Am I missing your roof? Oh. Okay, let's try clipboard on you again. Pizza, pizza. Pizza's not gonna save me here. Let's make that small. Cassette Beast is fun. I still haven't played the, the little update it got. P of the Unknown, the DLC. I mean, the problem with this is going to be like, uh, how do I deviate it? How do I make houses actually look different? Well, let's just mess around for now. Oh, my consequences are back. Something like that. And then I'll shuffle it over so there's a bit more side path. And then I'll let you go up here. And then maybe... Yeah. Something like that. This is taking way longer than I expected it to. <laughs> uh, I mean, I should have expected it to take a long time, but still. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I want to keep up. I think it'd be fun to do a little stream, do my map, my map miss. Every day. But I'm now realizing <laughs> that's a lot of effort. <laughs> Who would have seen that coming? Okay, so. I think I just want to make sure this goes three down at least, like that. And then I'm going to want it to curve up here. Yeah, and to be fair, I think Cabin in the Woods is something you'll see in most fan games <laughs> at some point. Maybe unintentionally, but you will be in the forest and you will find a cabin. Okay, do I still have that shit on my clipboard? I do. Oh my god. You beauty.
That's it, two ties. Yeah, I mean, it's not a competition, and that's kind of nice. And if you feel like you put too much heart into it and you're feeling fit, vulnerable about it, you can just say no feedback, please. But at the end of the day, it's like, I, I said the cabin thing because, you know, it's just like, you the. it's hard to think of anything too unique. And if you're not making something too unique, it's a bit boring. Yeah, like that that was essentially a cabin in the woods, wasn't it? With a truck. <laughs> Is this size gonna be weird? That is gonna be too tight, isn't it? So I guess it needs to be four if you include the room for the door. I and mean, this can just be like miscellaneous walls. And then one, two, three, four. And something like that. This will be a hellish town to navigate. Maybe I. Well, I'll try not to think too much about the playability of it. God, it's fucking big, eh? True. I mean, I guess I can stick the most inconvenient Pokemon Center in the world, but we can stick the sign on this one. Maybe I should see if there's something else I can do to make it look less like a normal building. Oh, okay. How's that? Looks a bit more special. I guess Pokemon and Poke Center joined, so don't need to worry about that. Yeah, this map sucks. <laughs> oh. More balls there. One, two, three, four. I am not finishing this shit. Oh my god, I shouldn't. Do 60 by 60. Next map, let's make it a bit smaller. <laughs> it's all factors, yeah. I mean, even if I don't finish it, it's still fun to have tried something. And it's been so long since I've actually mapped. So that's fun at least.
What, what am I cooking? That's not what. No, I'm dumb. Like that, okay. And then... Like that. And something like that. And then we gotta figure out what bell is even happening up here. I don't think it should be much. <clears throat> Okay, um, let's see if we can actually just work out the boundaries a bit more down below. So I want the whole thing to just be like rooftops down here, but we can have some variation. I don't know how to use this slant and shit. Not like that apparently. Um, but we don't need to use the slanted ship, we can just have height variations here. Just to kind of imply. So this will be the absolute tallest it gets. And then we'll have little dips, whatnot. And hopefully, it looks all right. Okay. Just like layers of rooms to look a bit nice, hopefully. Is this going to work out? Oh, let's do a little taste tester. And if you see if it looks decent and comes across. Um, okay. And then, I mean, I could just have it even. What does it look like if it's not even?
get some of third layer. Cog face fierce. All good, Kenny. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your nice little Monday. Ah, uh, Monday. Garfield moment. So, sir, obviously that's not, <clears throat> not supposed to be there. But I'll, I'll try this, I guess. Oh. Or maybe I'll just do a straight line. <laughs> um... How about I compromise? I'll do a straight line. Like that. And then, okay, like what, what? What are we doing here? And then I'll do like an offset as well. That's not a roof. <laughs> like an additional layer. Hopefully that doesn't look too robotic. Pretty sure I fucked up there. It doesn't even look that nice. <laughs> it looks bad. Gives away the bricks like it all melds into each other. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I had a bad idea. We'll just do a stand brick wall and call it there. Now I kind of need it to travel up here. I just do stuff like this. I don't need to be that high. And this is just an ambiguous house, it doesn't need to be anything actually walkable, walk into a bull.
What's going on with my roof there? <laughs> what, what, what did I do? Yeah, that's not right. There you go. Do all my roofs look like that? No. Oh, that's why I do my roofs on the second layer. Okay. That's the third layer. <laughs> Overkill. Um, there we go. Get him there. Yeah, it's not going to be a good map, but I'll just be glad to get something done at this rate. <laughs> oh. It, it does look horrific. I think if I add some windows, to the side, it might be a bit redeemable, but we'll, we'll get to that when we do. Note to self, never make a city based off the shape of a circle. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's take down the width by two. Now we should be a bit more symmetrical, a bit more smoother to deal with. I guess another way I can do this is I can just fucking Pipe it up. Am I dumb? Have I done something unevenly again? Oh my god. I have, and it's here? Oh, that should be an easy fix at least. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's hope. Just like that. Like that. I need to make it one more wider. Oh. Okay. 
This should make a bit more sense now. <laughs> oh god, okay. So let's see if I can just drive stretch with pipe and that up. Sure, and let's send that over. It would be nice to have some background music. Oh, I can't believe I just open I forget I'm sharing my screen. <laughs> um I need to be careful about what I open. I can't have No, I'm not even gonna say anything as a joke. Okay, does this method work? I have not heard the Pokemon Sleep remix. If you send me a playlist, I will very happily chuck it on. <laughs> of just everything you've worked on. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, well that's that done now. How do these windows fit? Am I going to be able to paste them on random shit? Yeah, I kind of can. Okay, and that does make it look like a lot more tolerable. Here we go. Okay, let me hide my screen quickly so my Discord DMs don't get leaked. We can play that bad boy. The cooking music. It is nice! Look, my mood's instantly lifted. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe life isn't so bad after all. Maybe in the darkness, there is hope. Thank you for the hype, babe. The windows look a little bit open, but I think... At this point. We take it. I should get a playlist to play while I do, um, while I do Map Miss, because it is going to be a lot of me just mindlessly mapping and not talking much. <laughs> so it's the kind of thing it would be perfect for. Yeah, yeah, like, that would be so dope to have an endless <laughs> certified SoundCloud playlist. And then it can just play in the hours that we map away. Okay, but I'm kind of mind blown that I've only been mapping for one and a half hours. It feels like it's been like four. <laughs> I just saw the time, I'm like, really? It feels like it's been so much more. Okay, crappy window's done. Let's make sure there's actually pavement in our city. Okay, okay. Missing a bunch of loot? What do you mean by loot? A new sneak peek at an endless song. Still in development, but kind of a jam. Kind of more than just a jam, kind of a bit. Good old days when the road was bright, running through a maze where the exit's quite far away. Far away. 
I was gonna say it, it's almost a bit emotional, right? That yeah, that feeling <laughs> of that wicked fear holding on as memories disappear far away. actually like extremely nice <laughs> that was really good like wow a big fan who was singing that because yeah good voice as well my god consider me flushed call me a rat in an old animated movie because i am flushed away I will definitely, that's you, that's, give me a second, I need to put that back on. I, I like that a lot. I, I didn't know you could sing it. Away, Very well. Away, as well. Like the feeling of that wicked fear holding on as memories disappear far away. Far away. For some reason, my brain tells me this is not the end. You stay up all night waiting for that day to come where all our problems slowly fade. Spotify playlist. <laughs> Let me load that bad boy up. Oh, there's one song on it. <laughs> what, what what am I looking at here? <laughs> this is Bone Shuffle again by Endless. I guess it's a Undertale remix. Such a change in vibe. <laughs> a very big change in vibe. So how come I can do... I can do like long things here, but I can't really do. It also doesn't really work actually now that I look at it. That looks weird. Should I just say fuck it and let the Tyler exist? Because <laughs> I would like, I like the idea of having something up here. Like, how bad is it going to look if I do that? I don't... It's not horrible. I guess I can... Mm. 
I'd like it if these pillars were like taken out. Maybe. I don't know, it's, it looks a bit weird if we do that. Mm, they're not horrible. Why, why can't I just get a bottom that looks like... Maybe I can. Oh, but then it adds the pillars. I am looking forward to it, Endless. I'm looking forward to it. Is that my compromise? I think that's my compromise. I think we do that. Let's bring it forward a tiny bit. Okay, and then I need to... <laughs> God, fucking figure out what to do for all this empty space. There's cute tiles that make for like a nice cafe almost. There's no flag to signify a cafe. So I guess I can just do like a different house design and it looks like it's not quite a... Okay, yeah, we can do something fun here, I think. I think we can put these on the ground to kind of like mark out a cafe area. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Press A to begin. Let's press play all. Anyway, this, this will be very nice. Thank you so much, Headlands. We can just listen to some pretty nice music now while we do shit. loud on stream. Is that a bit better? <laughs> I guess, kind of. Fab Champions. Best rogue life of the year. <laughs> the new party code.
That's kind of a cute cafe, I think. Because I want this to be massive, so maybe it just expands over the side here. Little house of the side we got going on. We've come down from the trap rave. <laughs> We're in a bit of a bit more chill vibe here. Also, then maybe just have that we set the height limit for the map. So if I zoom out, grab this bad boy, and set it there. So our height is going to be 55. Apparently. Okay, we're nearly there. We've nearly filled up the canvas and then we just need to decorate the canvas a bit more. Oh, I don't know what we're doing here. I could do another cafe, but I think we'd just be using symmetry a bit too much, man. Right? Uh, I guess I could do the implication that a hedge mage, hedge maze is a part of a mansion. So why not? Let's have it come down a bit more. Back into the rave music here. Hear that bad boy. Dumb, how do I make <laughs> how do I make it turn that way? Or can you not do that with edges? I just need to make it end. I might be using these tiles and I should not be using
how did these 12 get used? I guess we use the fat hedges. Fat hedges that work with the What can I do instead? A long thing, a big thing of full grass. <laughs> Juice inside here on grass. There's no peace just to be an end. This will all be grass on the inside. And we'll try to make it look beautiful. So that's our map now. Um, let's just do something with this. Sounds kind of like Undertale. Or maybe it's just a bit more, a bit pop funky, kind of like Undertale vibes. Okay. About two hours in. Yeah, let's take a peek at the cover. What? What is it? Oh, it's it's you. <laughs> It's your little... I don't even know... Does it come from Quantum? But it's uh, the guy. I don't know what I call him. I just call him Endless. <laughs> okay. I'm 
I think we could put a car in the empty space over there. It doesn't quite look like a royal car, but we can pretend. <laughs> Maybe we can stack two cars there to really make them look like big famous people. I think a bench by this wall would be good. This is so empty and I don't think there's much we can do about that. Let's actually move it one along. Have a second bench. And then I saw this little lamp post in here. We can pop that down there. I think we'll have this part of the path clean, but maybe it can get a bit cracked and dirty around here. You know, people come out of a park, they have dirt on their shoes. Right? So they make the pavement dirty. I don't think there's anything I can really use this for, at least not in the crappy city I've built. <laughs> um, We're well, just going to leave that brick wall as it is, I don't know, it's too hard to think about how to add windows to it. Oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. <laughs> Pro Pro it's definitely not Provoog. So I guess he's the guy, right? Oh, it's false here. That's all good. My bad. Uh, this is an actual word. I should have got it if I click this link and it takes me to meet spin. An unexplainable concept to many, only a select few can understand so important and all encompassing it truly is. Proverb can mean many things as well as mean absolutely nothing. It's vague yet extraordinarily specific. That outfit you're wearing is pretty proverb. Oh wait, that, that was written by Voltion! That said written by Voltion. Wait a minute. You guys just invented a word. <laughs> That's not fair. Let's have some Roger fish bins outside the bar. Now I need to think about it, like... <laughs> okay, fair. He's just trying to spread his beauty. I guess he is pretty pro that blue guy. Okay, pa. What are we cooking here? Something like that is good. Up there. I'd like a little bench as well. We love our benches. Mushrooms? No, let's not do mushrooms down there. Maybe a bit of bushage down here. This is not great. Right. 
I'll show them. We'll, we'll put mushrooms behind the bush to make them look even more special. I'm a bit worried, there's not much I can do with this part. I guess we add the flowers. Not bad. Not bad. Look at all this empty space. I guess you just have to imagine it be filled with NPCs. <laughs> uh, and the image of a Pokeball has been completely lost. It no longer looks like a Pokeball. Oh, what are these? Hello. Oh, I could totally write lost. Anyway, no, we're not gonna. Lost, sorry, not lost. Let's just fill up some space, make things look a little bit more unique and less perfectly symmetrical. I had a sign here just saying, hey, this one's a piggy center. Oh, you probably need a sign in front of you. Um, we're getting there. I think we're nearly done. I mean, we still need to do this, but that's, I don't think that's going to be too special. I'm just looking at the tiles, I'm like, I don't think it's... Like, I think the floors are already there, and I'm not going to redo the whole map. Yeah, I think I've used most of what I can to try to trick it out. Does that look all good? You know, there's two, two mailboxes. You know, one for air mail, one for local mail. I guess for the classy area. I'm tempted to just fucking <laughs> put this down <laughs> and call it a day. Um, but no, we won't do that. We will try to make a hedge maze. Somehow. I get the feeling we don't have the pieces to do anything too complex with the hedges. So I'm just going to imagine that the player appears here. You know, like, I can't make it bend downwards, I just have to do this as crappy as it is. I guess it doesn't look completely horrible, but... Why am I doing this on third layer? Can we undo? That was a nice track, I like that one. Oh, this one's a bit emotional.
Hopeful regrets. Oh, oh boy. As we listen to this somber music, I can think about all the things that went into this map. All the mistakes I made. All the poorly placed tiles on the wrong layers. And how things could have been made so much easier if I just maybe used my head a little bit. But instead, we are where we are. And instead of feeling shame, one should embrace that. For well, all we are is the choices we make. And if I did not make the choices that led me to this map that we were in today, I would not be myself. Therefore, never lose hope. Never lose sight of what makes you you. And keep on trying. You will never be the person you hope to be. It will only be you in the future. So work today to make that future person who you hope to be. That didn't make any sense. But with that said, as Concrete Blonde and Andy Prairie once said, it is complete now. Two ends of time are neatly tied. Do I look at this map and do I feel proud? No. I mean, what, what what's going on here? Oh, I could try some lampposts, but I don't think they're safe in the map. And I don't know where I'd even place them. YouTube Premium is ad-free YouTube. And YouTube you Premium? Altogether. New users try one I'm getting extra months. ads on my stream. <laughs> well, yeah, I think with that, it's complete. Um, Let's just take a quick deep brief and check out other people's maps and see what they did. I am somewhat happy with that. Let's turn off my grid. This is like the best screenshot we're gonna get. Let's just pop this up. And that's my map, okay. Um, I think I'm safe to open this. Yeah, there it is, Bone Trussle. We listened to that one already. Let's just have a little debrief and look at what other people made. So, theme cabin in the woods, map name, the meetup spot. So, for the tile set, just a really quick spin off since the concepts have started. I want to see how my tiles walked after not dead and on them for so long. Ooh, I like the tile set choice a lot. I'm a Mrs. Wood NPCs and like uh, events like Cut Tree. That's really nice. I like the, the art style a lot, like that's just gorgeous and I think well, good use of the tiles. I like the like blotches of grass, the kind of shape they make and the scattering. Considering the, it almost has like a painted look, the blotches work very well. <laughs> Do we want to skip this one or?
Oh, no, okay, this is still your stuff. I thought you meant, like, other music you found that you liked. So again, Cabin in the Woods, map doesn't have a name. Apparently they're not creative. I'll be the judge of that, buddy. I'm um, playing around with folks, did a half... Yep, yep. Da, 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 da. Also, I was kind of rushed. Okay, I think that's pretty decent. And they figured out how to use <laughs> the house that I could not use. That tile so confused the fuck out of me. But I think that's fairly good. Good spooky vibes. I see this is the fog. I'm guessing that's an L's fog tutorial. I, I think that's nice and I like the, the stone walls and whatnot. That, that is actually pretty nice, so I'd say you are somewhat creative. Um, Cabin in the Woods again. Yeah, <laughs> spooky vibes. Poison Lake. I know this person's game. This is, um... Yeah, vanilla tile set Ed Bavim, so they use this tile set for Pokemon Afterlife. It's a bit plain, but I mean, at least they went out there and, like, definitely did something unique. Poison Lake, calm down Miyazaki. I should be liking all these posts, gotta give my support. Okay, first you. Yeah. And you. Yeah, good bridges over the lake. This is a bit plain, but I mean, the shape at least is unique. It just looks a bit empty, but at least there's like a decent shape to it. Um, so this is again Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> Basic essentials plus a couple custom tiles apparently. Oh, I guess that's really cool. I like that a lot. Honestly, the whole thing is really good. Yeah, no, that's really nice. Like this is like perfect use of um default tile set plus a couple extras. Very well put together, and like obviously the stairs are not default. I think that that's very good. Fucking hell, people are too good at mapping. This is very nice. I like the aesthetic. Again, pretty simple, not, not too like spooky, just like a cabin by. Uh, I guess this is gonna be like your Viridian Forest of the game. And you can take a path here, or you can stop by here, do a little cave. I like the people battling Leafeon vs. Beedrill, who's gonna win? My money's on the Beedrill. And I like the, <laughs> the Eevee fursuit character there. Just super nice, super cozy. And then, same, same. Um, okay, first park in the city! Fog! Fog! <laughs> um, Moonshine City Central. Using Gen 4 tiles, definitely a challenge. I imagine this to be part of a much larger city. Oh, this is definitely cool, yeah. I, I like it, and good good choice of tiles. I like the Pokemon Center and Pokemon being like outdoor. Very nice, very, very nice. Have I been liking them? Okay. Um, and then Clara, I actually did look at this one earlier. It is very good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Clara. Okay. Um, but yeah, another cabin in the woods. But very, very beautiful. I like the fade from the lighter area to the deeper, darker green for the forest itself. Just, yeah. Very good. <laughs> I like it a lot, you can follow where the play goes. Beautiful tiles, beautiful placement of tiles, nice mix of colours. They obviously know what they're doing. And this first one's actually very nice, they gave feedback to all the people who asked for feedback. So, I like it. I haven't seen this one at all. Um, I like the feedback, that's weird. Did I like the post? These are all fairly new, so I haven't seen them yet from today. Oh, I'm in! Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, um, Cabin in the Woods, again. Hormaya Lake connects to Route 1 in their region. It's used for post-game, looking for feedback, yes. Okay, okay, I like the mix of the red and the green. A very simple map. Obviously, I, I see what happens. You, you come here, you have Waterfall. Like, you probably come here at one point, and then you come back here when you have Waterfall, and it allows you to progress a bit more. 
very simple but gets the job done. I like it. I like the mix of red trees. Takes what could be a bit of a boring map into something a bit more interesting. And yeah. Armour. Ooh. Park in the city. Christmas park in the city. What is with... Oh, sorry, I said armour. I meant Armin. What is with Armin and doing like perfectly themed games? Like you have Hellgale, perfect Hell game. You have Fairy, perfect Fairy. Let's see what they do with Christmas. Oh. Again, I mean, it's, it's not like a massive map or anything, but just as a scene, it is stunning. Where are the tiles from? These apparently. Good, good, good job putting together a Christmas tile set and making just a beautiful Christmas scene. It is awesome, I like it a lot. Beautiful use of fog. Very nice. Um, Adele's brother. Oh, they have the one behind Planet Burn Earth. Oh, another parks in the city. Okay, okay, I like it. Also using the suggested tile set. And I'd say, yeah, you, you did this better than me because you were willing to actually make it uneven. I was way too lazy to do that. <laughs> yeah, they, it took longer than I wanted because I kept moving around with... Um, <laughs> With roof placement. I get that feeling. It's a nice album. It's a nice album. Oh, I like the book on a bench. I should have thought of that. And yet, the thing I love about ECAT tiles is being able to do these dark patches of water, but mine were all kind of like skinny canals, so it wouldn't really fit. I didn't have like a proper river flowing through it. Very nice, very simple. Well, not even that simple. It is kind of it's got an irregular shape to it. I like it. Have I been liking? I definitely liked almonds, right? I have to like almonds. Oh my god, I forgot. <sighs> How disgusting of me. Yeah. And no oh, who gone? The turn of the king? What are you doing here? Very nice, very nice. Who gone? For those who don't know. Yukon used to like take part in every jam. They did Game Jam 1, Game Jam 2, and Game Jam 3, and I think they won like all of them until Game Jam 4 was like the first jam that they did not win. Like the OG ECAT, if you will. Just made consistently high quality games. Especially considering how small the community was back then compared to now. A real a real star in the dust. Very nice, nice flowers. I like it. Good park. Welcome back, Yukon. I'll have to reply saying I'm happy to see your name again. Cabin in the Woods. Ooh! Made in a bit of a 3D PE, apparently. Very cool, very cool. I like it. Again, simple, but just the fact that it's 3D <laughs> does a lot, and I like the Christmas theme in Ember Frozen Lake. That's very cool. I love when people use Gen 3 tiles for very detailed maps, but I also really love making maps faithful. Yeah, like, it is interesting because of, um... If you look at Nintendo Gen 3 maps, they are very... almost boring and very square, but, um, like, they do have a vibe about them, and I think it's quite interesting when you see people trying to replicate that, like, the actual Nintendo style of Gen 3 maps. Because I'll tell you, um... Okay, this is not Gen 3. This right here is not... Oh, well, I guess so, it, but... It, it looks a bit different than what you'd see in an actual Nintendo game. It looks beautiful. But Five Red Leaf Dream maps did not look like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, they, they really don't have much detail. Their shapes are quite simple. But I mean, this is still completely beautiful and I love it. Arguably, I probably love it more than the maps in Fire Red Leaf Drain. But I do think it is interesting to try to replicate that. I mean, th there's a lot you can do with maps. As you can see, these are all very different maps made by very different people. And they're all beautiful. <laughs> 
But yeah, with that said and done, I will close off the stream now. It has been very fun, and I'll try to be here tomorrow to do another one. I think that could be fun. Oh. But I'm gonna go get myself something to eat. Rest a little bit. And why not? With that said, we'll see you later, and bye-bye. Bye-bye. I will. I'm, I'm gonna be sitting at my computer for a bit. So, yeah, it's only like seven minutes more from songs. I will definitely be listening to the rest as I sit here and download the VOD to upload to YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. And thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for your, like, your indie song that you sent before. That was genuinely so good. But for now, I'll see you around. See you hopefully tomorrow if I get on Mac, Mac Miss again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.